What if I told you that YouTube has changed my life as an over 40 nobody after spending decades as a professional, highly experienced psychologist? What if I told you that I was feeling lost, burned out, and that YouTube just takes me to a whole other place where I can be creative and talk about the things I love with people who get it and want to talk more? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Saab Johal. Hi, welcome. Hello. In today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about my YouTube journey. But more than that, I want to talk to anybody who's over 40. I almost said over 50 or over 60, but a friend of mine who I've been talking to about this said, well, you know, Saab, if you say over 40, that covers everyone. And it's really about convincing you to get into video, to do video, and specifically YouTube. Now, at the time of recording this, do I want to tell you my age? Yeah, I'm 55. The day I'm recording this, I'm 55 for the whole year. And I think today is the perfect time for you to start a YouTube channel. Now you might've heard that YouTube has been around for ages and everybody's been making money on it for years. So there's no space left for anybody. No newcomers, all space taken. But I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. Today is absolutely the perfect time to start, especially if you're over 40 like me. And the reason I say that is if you're over 40, then you've got life experiences more than the younger generations. And you can take those and run with them. Maybe you've even developed a little bit of wisdom that you can share with others too. And you can use this to your advantage and share it with the world for their benefit and yours too. And I'm not just talking about revenue and making an income because that's definitely part of it for me, but also because I've learned from my audience with their responses to my videos that I put out into the world. In fact, I'm really looking forward to your responses to this video because this is not the kind of thing I usually put out there. Now, I started my YouTube channel in 2018. I've been watching YouTube for years, but never really logged in to watch videos. And I'd been making my own videos, you know, on a small scale like lots of people do, just messing around with photos and videos. And I kind of thought about YouTube as I became a little like tired of being a psychologist. I also wanted more freedom from a traditional job so I could spend more time with my kids with school pickups and drop offs and just being around more in their lives. I mean, I'm kind of an older parent. Maybe you are too. I don't know. And there's lots of reasons that people want to have more freedom. And these days that freedom might be forced upon you a little. Maybe your job or your career has stalled and you're looking for something new. Anyway, that's where I found myself looking for a new challenge. I wanted, I don't know, like a kind of another chapter in my life. I didn't want to just be identified as a psychologist until I stopped working. I also wanted something that I could grow into, a bit of a challenge and maybe even continue to do as I passed retirement age. Because the other thing I was interested in was in YouTube as a way of making a living, a livable income, you know, something that could pay the bills. And I also wanted to travel. I also wanted to make tech reviews and tip videos about tech. And I love that my channel is where these two of my passions come together and that people come to watch my videos and to chat with me too. I mean, I absolutely love the interaction. That's fantastic. Now you may have heard stories of people hitting it big on YouTube and making millions. And yeah, that can certainly happen. But what's far more common is what I was preparing for and what I still try and do, and that's making regular content on a topic that I care about and that other people care about too. Because then YouTube works its algorithms to find an audience for your content. And if you're consistent and keep improving the quality of your videos, then steady growth is what happens until you get opportunities to make that income. Now, if this video does okay, then I'm happy to talk more about the money side of things in another video. But today I want to talk about how there's something just so empowering about hitting record and knowing that strangers will watch your video. I mean, it's kind of scary too, because they could like you and they could hate you or they can criticize you or they just actually might not give a rat's ass about you. But it's actually really fulfilling to know that you're the main character in your own story. Now, of course, I want my audience to take something away from my videos, whether it's just kind of relatability, they like me or entertainment, or even just learning a thing or two about gadgets or destinations that I go to. 
But at the end of the day, it's all about me. And that's kind of cool, you know. I'm not trying to be big headed or egotistical about this, but it's kind of my life and it's your life. And it's great to be able to document it in this way. And the more I've thought about it, particularly recently, the more I've realized that I really want to help people over 40 or 50 or 60 or however old you are, 70, 80, I don't care. I just want to do more video stuff. Video has been a major part in my life for quite a while now. Now the word expert kind of really bugs me and annoys me a little bit. I mean, I do know a lot about video, but I don't know everything about video. However, I do shoot my own stuff. I edit my own stuff. Editing has totally been my jam for ages. I absolutely love editing and I'm self-taught, but I love it. I handle everything actually on my channel myself. I make my own thumbnails. I upload everything, everything like that. But I thought, you know, one of the things I haven't shared is my experience with that much with other people who are like-minded, people who are kind of 40 plus. So what's your age? And when are you gonna start YouTube? And if you haven't started yet, what's the hold up? What's, what's stopping you? And this is the kind of thing that I wanna do more of on this channel, is just be really transparent about who I am, where I'm coming from, and what I wanna do on this channel because I'm just a one person content creator. It's just me, this is my job. Now I've made a little bit of money, but it's kind of still that journey for me. But it is crazy how many connections I've made through YouTube. So part of the this video is just to encourage you to take a step on that journey. Now I'm not sure if inspire is the word that I would like to use. I, I don't think I can inspire you. I mean, it's nice if I do, but I'm here to cheer you on and lend a helping hand if you're thinking about it. It's like you watch one of those YouTube videos that we all watch and you're like, heck, I can totally pull that off, what that person did. I can do a better video than that. And that's how I started because I was sat there going, this person's getting all these views and like they've missed all this stuff and I can do this video. And if that's you, then I wanna encourage you and to help you to do that. But here's another thing that I've discovered about doing things yourself recently. I, because over the last few weeks, I did an experiment. You may have noticed if you're a regular viewer or maybe not, I did an experiment of hiring an editor. And you know, a lot of the YouTube gurus out there say that hiring an editor is the best decision you'll ever make and to do it as soon as possible. Well, I tried and it didn't work out that well. And again, like maybe I'll make another video telling you more about that if this video does okay, but let's just say it was expensive in terms of cost for the service. The time I spent giving feedback to the person, the people who were doing the editing, and I kind of actually missed editing because here's the great thing about editing your own videos. You get to see yourself in a whole new light. And you have the power to kind of like nurture what you like about what you see and to tweak the stuff you kind of don't really like so much. You might not even realize you're doing it if you're not spending hours editing your videos, all those things that are kind of like you, you don't want to do so much, all the things that you really like about yourself. It's a super weird concept to grasp, but if I could relate it to something, it's like watching a video journal of yourself. And I'm doing this like, you know, several times a week. And here I am, over 450 videos deep now in this channel alone. I also have another channel, which I've kind of stopped putting stuff out on now, but like it's way over 500 videos now. And I'm now putting myself out there in ways that I never thought possible, never thought possible. And this YouTube confidence that I've grown and nurtured over time has allowed me to do things on my own and genuinely enjoy myself. I've learned after a long time to enjoy my own company again, away from this kind of like professional identity that's dominated my life for so long, for like 30 years. YouTube has helped me to learn to become me again, as well as enjoy my family life and hopefully eventually earn an income that improves all our lives for the better. I now put myself out there without fear. I'm saying yes more often, and I genuinely want to keep growing as a person. And I genuinely think YouTube helps me to do that. 
And one of the other main reasons for me starting my channel was to document memories and my life through the tech that I used to capture it and telling people about that. Now I've spent most of my life as some kind of photographer in some shape or form. From the very first camera that I started using in India when I was four years old to learning how to use a dark room when I was 15 years old in school and always dabbling in making memories using that kind of photographic and then video as that came along. That was always part of my life. Now I'm sure many of you can relate now. We have these phones that can snap memories in seconds, like thousands of them, like in a day sometimes when you're traveling. But these moments and memories just disappear into the absolute ocean of digital files on the cloud, our phones or our hard drives on our laptops and tablets. When was the last time you scrolled through hundreds of photos to relive a trip that you've taken? I just wanted somewhere to look back on the past, the stuff that I did and the people that I did it with. I mean, I'm the main character in my story, but there's a bunch of people who are really important to it. And sometimes I kind of like, I wonder about, you know, including my kids in that and, and not. And most of the time I don't include my kids in that, but I do try to capture some of what it is that we're doing so that they can look back on it too. And I really want to start going deeper into this, showing the kind of more real side of me and my life, maybe a little bit more than I have done in the past. And I hope to find and nurture a community to share, grow and learn with on this journey as well. And for me, that's just, that's totally reason enough to start a YouTube channel. So let me ask you, what's the one thing that gets you excited and motivated? And I challenge you to start thinking about how you could bring that energy and your project to life on YouTube. Because if I was gonna sum all of this up, I would say that if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, don't wait until next year. Start today, because you never know what's gonna happen. And I'm not saying that you're gonna have a similar journey to me because everyone's different. I'm just letting you know that starting a YouTube channel could change your life. And I'm not being kind of like, I'm not overstating that because I, I think it has. So take a chance and trust in yourself. Take a chance and believe in yourself and go ahead and be your true self. You know, it's really easy to kind of like try and be who people want you to be, not just in real life, but also in, in YouTube too. And yeah, I, I did that too when I first started. But now I feel more authentic and I would encourage you to be your real self too. And in the end, if I never gain another subscriber and my mum and dad and wife are the only ones who continue to watch my videos, that's totally okay with me. Oh, and hi, Sarah, mum and dad. The experience though of having my own YouTube channel has been priceless. And I don't think I'd give it up for anything. Well, I guess technically that's not true because if I was telling the truth, I would have started this 15 years ago. But if you want help, I can make a video about how to get started. Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you soon.